what did you make of the subs again? He, he got a lot. He got a lot of stick again. Uh, yeah, again, especially I, again. I didn't. I wasn't working on the game, but I was doing a bit of socials for, for Red Men, and I was. I was looking at a bit of reaction and stuff, and a lot of it was like, couldn't believe that. Again, we don't know the fitness level, so I have to caveat that with a huge thing. We don't. They know more than us. What you can do, what? But I think some of them, like getting Costas off of Robertson, was a no brainer. I thought that's yeah. that had to happen because he, he was struggling. I suppose the one that got the most criticism really was that Jota stays on, but Darwin goes off. Um, Darwin. I'm not gonna say like he looked like he was pulling up trees, but he probably looked like the of the three maybe the most likely to score because when we when we do eventually bring Gakpo on, he's playing left wing. He's never been yeah. He's been he's his best performance in recently have still been centre forward. If you're gonna if you're gonna make those subs, you could go you could have Nunes left, Salah right, and Gakpo up front. Mm. I think that makes more sense. More the balance looks better as that as a trio. You know, Man United the way. Sorry, Man United seven 0 for sorry for example. Again, we don't know where Darwin's at fitness wise, he's had issues again. It. But it was a bit of a strange one that he took Darwin off, especially and left and left Jota on. Yeah, and I think given Jota's form and the lack of goals and all the 31 goals now. 31 games that one. You know, he's he's hardly looking like he's gonna be the one that gets you that goal, is he? So um I think there was a moment before he brought Nunes off where uh Reese James just took it past Nunes and then just put in a bit of a shift to be honest on the right and Nunes didn't didn't get back. Now I don't know whether that was the reason, I've no idea, but I couldn't make sense of it. There's been a few games where I've thought, whoa, what are these what are these subs? But mm. he knows better than us, the team knows better than us in terms of fitness. But it, it does it does concern you that, you know, the game's there probably to be a snatch and grab like we've mentioned. Why not leave your goal scorer on? And if also, he's a goal scorer. And also Sam even if you're gonna do that, I, I don't get the logic of putting Nunes. Sorry, of putting Gap on the left. Yeah, I think he's the major positive that we've seen of him in the number ten. He's done it, Bobby. I think against yeah. City, he was the only one. He looks like he can. You mentioned before, we're getting the ball on the turn and going. Yeah, he can do that. You're right with Jota. Jota did it a few times, but it was a bit, it was a bit ungainly. It was yeah. a bit, a bit spawny for that. Better way, you know, bouncing off him and that shitty. A little, a little, a little <laughs> bit, yeah, but. I, I did find it strange that Gapo comes on and gets stuck out on the left wing. Yeah. He's he couldn't be further away from Mo Salah. Like. The whole point of putting Mo Salah on is just giving that one chance. You need to yeah. get him the ball that one time. They couldn't even find Mo Salah. Mm. Every time he got it, it was a, a pass that he, he, he was stood still. He wasn't yeah. running with the ball. He was doing nothing with it. I found that odd that even if Nunes can't go, and I get it, he, he's knackered, whatever, maybe you think Jota can't do the getting back bit. I don't know what it was. But That's it, what I thought about it. Yeah, yeah, but it just... Get, get him off then as well. Like I don't know. Yeah, it just yeah. it, I, I thought it was a bit strange to go and shift Cody Gapo left when... He has been having his most success centre forward. Yeah, I think at that point he's probably just thinking, I need to ensure we don't concede. And if I get a sniff, you know, we'll get it. And there was a few moments where the ball's bounced to the edge of the box and Gakpo has a few half decent touches. But it was disappointing not to see him and Sal. Him, him and Sal didn't really play yesterday. He came on the pitch, but we didn't see them involved. And that's a shame because if you just spoke to us on Monday morning about who's going to win us this game, it's going to be Gakpo turning and running through their, their midfield defence. It's going to be Salah twisting and turning in the box or getting on the end of something or Nunes doing what Nunes does. We didn't see the three of them on the pitch for a minute. Like mm. Nunes was off before any of them came on. And this is, this is what we keep coming back to. It's just we can't get our best players on the pitch at the same time for long enough. But I was surprised. I'm surprised. Don't give Gakpo ten minutes as well. Don't That's you? what I mean. Yeah, he got ten. So Nunes comes off. So he he brings Firmino and Simakas off on on sixty six for Firmino. Sorry for Salah and Robbo. Then it's Jones for Milner and Nunes for Gakpo with eighty. So like he's he's give Cody Gakpo, who I think has been our probably our brightest attack and spark a little bit. Ten minutes. If you're going for the smash and grab, I get it, but you you need more than that. And then if you're gonna if you're gonna bring him on, he, he needs he needs to be in a position where he can get the ball. He needs he needed to be centrally for me. It, again, we, I, I, I don't know the fitness levels. I don't know. Cody Gakpo might have had something. He's been ill recently. I don't know what it was. I get it. But you're right. When I saw Gakpo come around, I thought, right, it's going to be Jota. Mm. And uh, in, uh, we're going to have 10 minutes at least of, of the front three that tore Man United to bits. All, all scored a couple of goals against them. And we never got to see it again. Maybe he's saving them for us. And I don't know. But I do think that game was there. I think if you'd got 15 minutes of those three, you might have got a chance. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, I'd like to have seen Salah get more into the game when he was on the pitch. I don't think we found him well at all with the passing. The passing was 10, 20 yards ahead of him and he's, yeah. he's nowhere near it. Do you think that could be a Gomez thing as well? Like he's got, you know, Trent, it's not Trent yeah. firing the ball into him, it is, it is the Gomez. But he's, yeah, yeah he's probably thinking, fuck, I can't throw Trent on. Right? Like, I, I thought he was going to, at some mm -hmm. point, I thought he might do this. And then Sam, maybe before, he just didn't want to get beat. And he's probably wondering, 
sit uh, Chelsea have got a, you know they bring Sterling on they've got a million Mudrick, number tens yeah. they bring a Mudrick on yeah. as well and I wonder if Jürgen's half gone don't really don't know if fancy tends a little bit maybe we're going to have to just accept because I agree they couldn't find Salah but the player who always finds Salah wasn't even on the pitch no that's that's the problem isn't it when Trent's not on the pitch you can that's that's the concern for me at the moment because it's okay having your your best front three on the pitch but if you've not got a midfield that can find them front three then you can't go anywhere anyway especially without Trent on the pitch so yeah it's it's, it's just deflating isn't it you know no yeah no, it's, it's, and it's hardest to think Sam it's the it's the because nobody can do everything when we're, when we're, like Trent can if Trent's if if Trent's defending well it's it's easy because yeah. he, he's doing everything when he, when he isn't defending well or like because like I say you look at the midfield we end the game with a Henderson for being your mill in the midfield like, there's no goals and creativity in that so and then you haven't got your creative right back on the pitch it isn't a shock that Mo Salah yeah. doesn't get the ball this is why I was advocating for Gapo because at least you can just give it to him you might be able to do it Agreed. Jota doesn't really do that either it did feel like Liverpool ended that game with a team that wanted to draw nil nil yeah, yeah. the lack of pace. Yeah. <laughs> he took Nunez off a big salary. We had one quick player on the pitch at any one time. I suppose Gakpo's got good pace, hasn't he? But yeah, it, it was. It was. It, 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 the attitude clearly with Klopp is just getting through these games as, as little damage as possible when it gets to these moments in the game, mm-hmm. doesn't it? I mean, the Trent one was interesting, not bringing him on, or not even bringing him on and slipping three at the back for five minutes just to get Trent on the ball for five minutes. Protect our lead with sorry our our zero with with the three defenders and just to see if we can create a one good ball into Gakpo and it's one nil because he's the only person in both of those squads who's got the delivery like he has 